Fallout 76 is absolutely amazing right now. I have been obsessed playing this game for the first time in years over the last weekend, primarily because the Fallout TV show was just amazing. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It got me so amped, I reinstalled New Vegas, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76. So in the video, I'm gonna explain my experience with the game as somebody who played a little bit at launch, put the game down, and hasn't touched it ever since. That is until this weekend, where I couldn't put the game down. I literally have been playing at every opportunity the last three days. That is until right now, the servers actually went down. I'm assuming because of so many players coming back here on Sunday. So 76, you may remember the technical disaster, the big PR faux pas. It did not go over very well. I covered the beta and I covered the game at launch and they were some of my most viewed videos, not for the good stuff, but because players wanted to see all of the issues that were happening with 76. And there were a lot, and the game was a mess for a while. But what most players may not know, myself included, that Bethesda never gave up on the game. Since launch, there have been 17 major content updates with ongoing support. In fact, you can even see their roadmap for this year alone. The game is still very much supported and had a healthy player base. It was shocking when I looked at Steam charts to see like 30k players. And obviously that's going up now that the show has dropped. Those updates changed one major thing that I think is the most important thing to communicate to you if you're a lapsed player or maybe somebody who never tried 76. The main quest has been completely revamped. You may have forgotten that the original main quest for Fallout 76 had no NPCs at all. This was a huge letdown for a lot of players at the time. And honestly, that main quest was pretty dull. You just sort of <laughs> followed along and traced the ghosts of the people who came before you. I understand conceptually what they were going for, but I don't think it landed. What they've done is they've gone back and revamped that entire main quest. It's a new story, new original characters, new places to go, and it's a lot of fun. And it balances pretty well with all the event-based quests that you can do and the community for this game, which is just fantastic. Along with fixing that main story quest, Bethesda have gone back through and fixed a lot of the technical issues. Now, if you're playing on PC, I will link a video in the description that describes how you can get an unlocked frame rate. You will need to do some tweaking off the bat in order to get it feeling good. Not much, just a little change in the INI &I file and you will have unlimited frames, which you'll need to cap because it's a Bethesda game and it will break if you have totally unlimited frames, but it does feel smooth and it runs quite well now on my system. You pair this with the ongoing support, the tons of new content, and a player base who didn't give up on it. There is like level three, four, five, eight hundred, you know, people who have given it so much, who love this universe. And you have a recipe for a game that is well worth playing. My experience this last weekend, by the way, with the community was second to none. If you are going to hop in and play the game, join into those lobbies. Say hi to people, wave, emote, because you never know. The veterans are going to drop for you tons of items, tons of things that are useful and helpful or take you along on events that will help you level up quickly. Speaking of leveling up quickly, Bethesda has now given you the option to start your character at level 20. And that's really nice because on my original playthroughs, I remember I think I was like level 7 or 8 when I dropped my vanilla playthrough. To start at 20 is kind of nice because I know level 50 is sort of that good barrier for beginning some of the cooler content within the game. Also, the PvP system was a mess at launch. They've done away with that forced PvP system. You still have the opportunity, I think, in survival servers to do that. But for the most part, the experience is just overall so much better. Again, I'm a casual player. I'm somebody checking in for the first time in a long time. But I absolutely loved it. So I did want to go and look and see if you were to buy this game, how much does it cost right now? Well, it's 80% off on Steam until April 19th, meaning the game is $8.00. I can overwhelmingly recommend this game at that price point. If you are on Xbox, I'm not sure if there's a similar sale going on, but I do know that 76 is available on Game Pass, and I can very much recommend, if you're on the fence about the title, pick up a month of Game Pass, you probably already have it if you're on the console side, and try 76 out. I will tell you, this is such a comfort game, and if you've enjoyed the show at all, you are absolutely gonna vibe with the way 76 is right now. And I'd probably say go play 76 before playing Fallout 4, 
which is weird. I, I never thought we'd be talking about this. I, I really thought 76 was going to be doomed to just be one of those games that had a bad launch and didn't recover. Briefly, let's talk about the show, because oh my gosh, the Fallout show was absolutely amazing. The entire crew, everybody involved, the creators, the directors, everything, respected the source material so much. Literally, I am so amped and obsessed right now. I just want to go through everything. A new Vegas playthrough, another Fallout 4 playthrough. By the way, Fallout 4 is receiving a free update on April 25th. It's called the Next Gen Update, and it's aiming to uh, you know, bring Fallout 4 to PS5 and Xbox Series X with improved graphics and 60 FPS gameplay. Plus, on PC, we are also getting an update that will support widescreen and ultra-widescreen displays, some updates to quests, some fixes to the creation kit, and a number of stability mod and bug fixes. Plus, Fallout 4 will also be Steam Deck verified when this drops. So until then, I will continue to play 76. I'm almost up to level 50 at this time. I'm in the 40s. And once I get to 50, man, I'm really excited because I know the content takes a little bit of a shift. So... I will keep you updated with my thoughts. I can't wait to do a more comprehensive review of the game, but it's going to take a few weeks of just diving in and enjoying this content. I will say that is the dream. When a show gets you so amped to go play the game, that it's just like all you can think about. So huge hats off over to Bethesda and everybody involved with the show. Check out 76. If you're a player who's been playing for a while, I would love to hear some thoughts and tips down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you again very soon. Thank you.